us into what we've become now. I owe every achievement that I have to my dad. And I'm not just saying that because he's my dad, because I'm supposed to, but because he sacrificed so much. I remember I was going on a Livingston trip when we were in Zambia, and my dad owned a shop, and he sacrificed his mobile phone, sold his phone, just to make sure he would pay for me to go on that trip. And I know I was young, I was probably about nine years old. I don't think he thinks I remember this, but I still do remember even as a child. And I'm just eternally grateful for all your sacrifices. And I've been unwell over the last two years, and my dad has really, really been the strongest support in my life. And even, especially through my masters as well, when I fell ill, I remember he'll go to work, do a night shift, and in the morning, by eight o'clock visiting hours, my dad would be there with me. And dad, I am forever grateful to you, and I love you so much. And I'm so thankful for the sacrifices you've made for us even being here in England. We never would have met you wonderful people if it wasn't for my dad. And I will forever be grateful to you for everything that you've ever done in my life. And I really just want to take this moment to just toast you and to wish you many more happy years and many more happy returns. And I pray that even when I have children, that I'll be as an amazing parent as you are because you really have sacrificed everything to bring us here and for us to be the people that we are today. Thank you. I just want to say thank you everyone for being here and just thank you to our family back in Zambia as well who've like contributed a lot and they don't even know how much they've contributed but dad I just want to say first of all happy 50th birthday like coming from Zambia many of us know how much of a big milestone that is like the life expectancy is a lot lower than 50 so it's a huge achievement you should be proud uh, and just on mentioning huge achievements and your life expectancy, don't worry, I won't send you to the nursing home as John said. I'll send you back to Zambia, you'll be looked after well. <laughs> but I just want to say thank you for all the life lessons, everything you teach us, your words of wisdom. I know sometimes we're difficult, it might seem that we don't listen, but we do truly appreciate everything that you say, everything you've taught us and all lessons that we would take on to like our future lives and I just wanted to say as well we're still waiting on that book that you're writing we're hoping to see it being released soon like the end of the year is gone we thought we'd be here by now but we're waiting and just yeah happy 50th birthday and a thank you I should apologize as well because I'm not too great at speaking in front of crowds <laughs> but I should say thank you to my dad because honestly, I'm grateful to have a great dad like yourself. A lot of my friends are as fortunate as to have fathers in their life, and I know I've met a lot of people along the way that have lost their dads to unfortunate circumstances. And I just want to say I'm blessed and honestly grateful to have a father in my life that's so caring, and is always looking out for me as well in everything I do. Like, I know I make some stupid decisions sometimes. <laughs> oh, lie, it's just growing up, but my dad's just the biggest supporter of my life. Every single thing I've done in my life, he's always been there for me, always rooting for me, and always the sidelines that you watch and everything I do. And I appreciate that a lot. Like I remember back in the day, like a memory of mine that I remember is um, when I was a kid, a long time ago, um, like back in like Kalushi, a long time ago. <laughs> I was like four years old. It was like um, a little play that we were doing. And um, if you guys ever heard of um, that nursery rhyme, it's like Miss Polly had a dolly and she was sick. Yeah. Have you guys heard of that? <laughs> Just in case. But yeah, um, we did a little play on that and I was uh, chose to be the doctor. So I told my dad about it, I got home, I was excited, I told my dad about it, about how I got such a big role and I was so excited, you know, a little me. And my dad literally went out of the way, it's like little things like this make me remember how much of a great daddy is. Like he went out of his way to get a real stethoscope, a real stethoscope as a prop for me to use. So I was just, I was just the best in the play. <laughs> but I just want to say thank you honestly because my dad is a great man and he's done so much for me in my life that I'm so great from trips in school. I've literally memories that I couldn't be able to do without him, like skiing in Austria, 
trips to France, all sorts, just things that my dad's done for me and I appreciate that. So thank you, Dad. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Come on, one more time, one more time. Thank you. Thank you.